As motorized carts and wheelchairs become more common and sometimes move from the sidewalks onto public streets, the state is looking to revamp safety regulations. But Ryan Donnelly of Granite State Independent Living says for many with disabilities, getting around is already hard enough. Yeah, it's a challenge and to have to worry about safety flags and reflectors is just another thing to worry about. At the State House, they've debated legislation to require safety equipment for motorized wheelchairs for a few years now. We actually don't know how to classify them. So is it a pedestrian that has a mechanical assistance or are they operating a motor vehicle? An amendment discussed on Thursday would require carts and scooters operating on public streets during daylight hours to have reflectors on all sides and a safety flag at least 60 inches high. Violations would result in a written warning on first offense, a $5 fine on second offense, and a $10 fine on third offense. Advocates for the disabled don't like any of that. Among their many critiques, they say getting in and out of vans with that tall flag would be difficult. There's no way I can, you know, remove it and, and reapply it and all that. For most of us, violating the rules of the road involves getting a ticket and paying a fine. But state reps say if you're operating a motorized wheelchair in the street, chances are you're already facing some kind of financial hardship. And even the smallest fine may be too much. Anything that this subcommittee comes up with, it has to address the safety, it has to address the feasibility, um, and it has to make sense going forward. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.